morning, sweet friends. How are you? Gosh, I hope you're doing so good. I know I say that every time, but it's really true. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing great. I am actually going to be making one of mine and Daryl's favorite things to have for dinner, and it's just a classic old-fashioned meatloaf. I've actually had several people ask me to do a meatloaf, and so here it is. And you can find my recipe for my meatloaf in my cookbook, and it is on page 30. All right, so I'm gonna get started. It's so easy, really great ingredients, okay? So you need one pound of ground beef, and I've already got that in my bowl. And then you just need one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna add that. And then you need a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Put that in. All right. Then we need um, a half of a cup of chopped onion. And a half of a cup of bell pepper. All right. One lightly beaten egg. I've already beaten this egg. I'm gonna add that. And then we need um, eight, an eight ounce can of diced tomatoes. And I did this with the green chilies in it. You guys know Daryl loves a little spice and a little kick. So I've drained this, completely drained it, and I'm gonna add those diced tomatoes. Okay. And then I'm going to add a half of a cup of quick cooking oats. All right. And then you just mix this all up. And I'm gonna use my hands in just a second. I'm gonna kind of get this a little bit mixed up with my fork. But the best way to do this is to really use your hands. Get your hands in there, get them all messed up. Totally good. I remember doing this with my mom. <clears throat> and um, she would just get your hands right in it. So you can get it all mixed up so well. Of course, I have washed my hands really well. Remember when my mom would make this when I was little, um, she would usually have to make a couple of them because we had such a big family. And my favorite part was the topping. I loved that ketchup on the top when it got baked. So in just a second, after we get this all mixed up, then I'm gonna add brown sugar, ketchup, and mustard together, and then we'll put it on the top. Okay, so I have preheated my oven to 375, and we're gonna have to bake it for about an hour. All right. Guys, it smells so good. It's gonna be so delicious. All right, so I've just got a regular, what size is this? Um, Gosh, what, nine, nine by five? Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in. And I'm gonna shape it into a loaf. Okay, I kinda want it to be a little bit rounded. the top a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to wash my hands really quick. Okay. And then we're going to mix the Ketchup. So I've got a little bowl here, and I'm going to put my brown sugar, which is two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of mustard. And 
a third of a cup of ketchup. I'm mix this up. And then I'm just gonna put it on the top of our meatloaf. recipe that you would like to share with me maybe your family favorite I love it love it love it I love it when you guys share your recipes with me you can write them in the comments you can send me a message all right so I'm gonna stick this in the oven and I will be back in just a little bit okay everyone so the meatloaf came out of the oven and while it was baking, it smelled so good. I think you guys are going to love it, love it, love it if you try it. Now, you're gonna to have to really like green pepper and you're gonna to have to like onion. Of course, you don't have to put any of that in there if you don't want to, but that's what's in this recipe and it really is quite delicious. I left it in the oven really a little bit over an hour for like 65 to 70 minutes. So just keep that in mind. And I am gonna take a little bite of this, put this on my plate. Mm. That is so good. You can, I got some of that ketchup and the brown sugar and the mustard from the little sauce on the top. It, the topping just tastes delicious. Serve this with some mashed potatoes and maybe some green beans perfect dinner. Now, of course, you guys probably did this growing up or maybe you do it now, but you can also make a delicious meatloaf sandwich. So, so good. Okay, thanks for joining me, everyone. Please share this video. If you are loving what you're seeing, we would, uh, we, it would mean so much to us if you would just share, 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 and also be sure and comment because when you comment, even if you put a little smiley emoji, it lets Facebook know that, oh, you want to see some more videos. So if you'll do that, that would be great. All right. Take care, everyone. Always know that I know that you can do hard things, and I will see you next time.